show. This is my homestead in this world. I wanted something simple because I didn't really plan on staying here. I planned on exploring more in this world. But I've, I've grown to love this part of it, so this is my bedroom. I'm going to go up to my study where I keep my books. I try to write new um, lands I found and things I figured out in my book. This is a perfect spot for a world, for a place, because it's surrounded by water. There's great flatland for your gardens. There's trees all over the place. This kind of place I think that people dream of landing in when they come into this world. Coming into Minecraft world. Now we're going to go down to the basement to see my storage area. I have categorized everything the best I could. And this storage system is something I've loved. It opens up a lot more space. Um, and I've used this in all my other worlds. I've even gone back to worlds and reorganized it this way. Random treasures is just stuff I picked up from villagers. I got my furnaces there. I got my compost there, all my machinery I need. I got the vault. Guard guard by uh, iron gates, iron doors. So I got coal stored here. And then I got my gunpowder and lapis lazuli. Emeralds, diamonds, iron, flint. That little room just has a little secret spot again, and it's got some more um, machinery in there. Nothing too fun, fancy. Now we are in going towards my second lookout. I originally wanted to make it look like narrow, like it looks on the bottom. But then I decided to build a house out of it, so that is why it looks bigger on top. I just built this so I don't have to keep walking over the water, going through the water all the time. I could just go through the bridge. Got steps all around it to make it look kind of nice. It's got a ladder. This world is when I started using ladders for everything instead of stairs, because stairs take up so much space. That's lookout spot number one. Lookout spot number two. I believe there's a lookout spot number three, but I I missed it. So instead you get right to my first part of the house. This is where I store all stuff. Like my honey. Honey, honey. And I can kind of see um, all around me, if I need windows, and then you go to my living quarters, more windows, you can see even farther away, there's my bed, after a long journey to the villages and the farthest reaches, I try to bring it back, if you see any of the pillars out in the distance, that one is for a cave, do you see? 
but the other ones are leading me to villages and they point home towards my house. So that is why they are pointing in the way they are pointing. Maybe in the next episode I'll do a trip to all the villages. And show you those. I have gathered quite a bit of stuff to give to the villagers anyways. And it's kind of like the uh, ultimate outlook spot. That's the roof. That is the roof. And then... It was tricky to get down from here. You can see my cow farm in the distance there. <laughs> I couldn't get down. <laughs> Struggles. The struggle is real. Now if I would have turned around, you probably would have seen the other lookout. But I did not. There is one more lookout. I think I have. I'm really struggling getting out of these places. <laughs> and then the next spot, after you go over this bridge, it's going to fade away and show you the secret fort that I stumbled upon. Right about now. So I was exploring this part of it, and I stumbled into this fort, which is the coolest fort I've ever seen. I don't know who usually lives here, but it was abandoned. Maybe because it's peaceful mode, it was abandoned when I got here. Judging by the banners, though, it's probably not a good person to be running into. The person does not look real nice. There's another cave system I can explore. I fished in this pond out here. Now we're gonna, I added the door. I don't remember what door was there before, if there was any door at all. Those are the things I've caught from the pond. Nothing really useful. I'm trying. I've been trying to catch uh, saddles because you can't make saddles in the game, so I have to catch them. Go up, up. It's a nice house too. Nice fortress. Look at all this room we have. I might have added some of these wood planks to the floors too. Can't remember. I'm pretty sure I had all the lights. You see another beacon out there, kind of. That's it's nice out here. Nice for the summer, summer days when it's a nice breeze going through. You can go here. So that is the fortress. I think I'm trying to show you all the different corners of it and see what you can see. Shoot the lighter. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Shoot the lighter. Talking about my friend lighter. And that lady in mine. Going down the stairs. Going down the. Going down the little stairs now Cause we're going outside We will be transitioning to the shed outside In three, two, one. And this shed was here already too You can see the outside look 
kind of a creepy looking fortress. Oh, all right. Three, two, one. I just got done killing some sheep to make a bed so I can make it morning, so that I can show you the fortress in the morning. The things I do to make sure you can see every aspect of this. <laughs> Found out, oh wait, you needed another wool. Well, I wasn't about to go kill another sheep. That's just cruel and unusual. So. I just stole one. From my shed. I mean, my shed really. I stole this whole fortress from someone, so. <laughs> You're a thief. I know I am. Alright. Going back into the fortress. Through the weeds. Alright. Close the door. Don't want any creepers coming in, yeah? Another thing I like about peaceful mode is that the zombies and all that stuff is not in the game. Where in creative mode, they still show up, which is annoying. I do not like that portion of it. Close the door. The weeds. Give you one last look at the fortress in the daytime. And that, my friends, are all my buildings. Have a great day. And see you later. Bye bye.